Yep, so go faster. Start tapping and be a little bit meaner. Faster than that. First flat walk, keep going. Faster. Right there. Now keep that speed. He's going to slow down right here. So a little tap with your stick right there. Yep, there you go. Keep going. Keep going. He slowed down. Yep, try to keep that same speed all the way around. Just keep looking up ahead. Yep, tap with the stick anytime he slows down and you didn't ask him to. If you wanted to slow down, then that's perfect. Okay, now a little faster again, because now he's back at a trail walk. So keep going. Faster. Faster. Yep, keep to kind of flick that wrist to use that stick more. Yep, and then make sure you're not pulling on his mouth as you're tapping him, because if you are, then he knows he's not supposed to go forward. So go a little faster, because he slowed down. Just make sure you're looking up. Yep, tap, tap, tap with the stick. Faster. Don't you like how I just keep going faster? <laughs> yep, and if he's not going, just relax your fingers around the reins to make sure you're not pulling on him by accident. That's better walk. Keep going, keep going. Faster. Yep, you might be hitting the saddle. Hit him harder, tap, tap, tap. And forth. Keep going. Good job. Good, so that's your flat walk. Just keep going around, keep trying to keep that same speed. And their head goes up and down. It acts kind of as a fulcrum. The more they reach up with their back hind legs, like over their front hoof prints, the more the head shakes. So there he got a little bit slow. Good job. You're getting it. Good. So the next time you come around, he can go even a little bit faster than that, okay? You're doing good down the hill. Good. So right as you pass the gate, start asking for a little bit more walk. And you can kind of alternate your legs, like your right leg, your left leg, your right leg, your left leg. That kind of lengthens their stride. There you go. Woo! Nice. Good. So go around and try that again.